movement, uh, whatever, 10, 12 year, years ago, whatever. He was a Tea Party's choice to be their leader. That's how constitutional he is. So it was a great event. Uh, it was very relaxed, a couple hours. I uh, really got to visit. Uh, uh, it almost felt like a little Woodstock, relaxed. Uh, it, just a wonderful little venue that they had there, very Arizona, very uh, very cool. Uh, the sand, it's called the Santan Flats. It's great. Uh, so I was just it, uh, it kind of re-motivated me. Uh, my biggest concern is that Blake Masters beats the astronaut down here because that's a Senate seat. Uh, uh, this guy Kelly has voted with. Think about it. That that uh, the Senate's not important or politics isn't important. Uh, this Kelly has voted with Biden. Was it 96 percent of the time? You know, mandatory, including. Uh, don't pursue, not pursuing the border wall and all that stuff. He's voted for all that stuff 96% of the time. Worst Senate candidate I've ever seen. Worst debater. I watched the debate last night that I've ever seen. Uh, and Blake Masters at one, one point, I think, was down by four or five points, but it's, it's either in a statistical tire. He'll jump. Uh, Masters will jump after the debate last night. I did. Uh, I actually did a, a press release, uh, a an, an al- quick analysis of that debate last night, which was uh, Blake Masters against the astronaut, and Masters just kicked, whipped his butt. Um, and then there was the mandatory token libertarian candidate up, up there, too. But anyhow, uh, big stuff going on down here. Lots of people in Arizona are just ready to go to the voting booth. And I sniff it up there, too, Mike, with Alberta. I sniff it where people are fed up, fed up and want to do something about it. Maybe vote where they never have before. You know, that's what I see. I still think it's going to be the next couple of years, the, the years of the women. Women, I uh, wrote it in my book, you know, COVID moms will sway 2024. Uh, I think it's going to be a complete wave. And I hope up in Alberta. I really do. Because I don't see one reason like you. I don't see one reason not to become the 51st uh, U.S. state. Uh, at the minute, the United, it's the only option, like you say. It's not, they don't even think about independence or, you know, Wexit kind of stuff. It won't work. Uh, the minute that Alberta becomes first U.S. state, what they don't realize is the United States will then be there to protect them, including protect them from oppressive Ottawa. Uh, your gas will drop in half overnight. You'll be paid in U.S. funds. Pension guarantees. If you got a pension, fine. It'll be guaranteed by the U.S. Uh, it'll be in the form of Social Security, on and on and on. So Alberta needs to become the 51st state if no one got that message from me and Mikey Phillips in the last uh, 14 episodes. Right, Mike? <laughs> Let's talk about this thing with Hunter Biden. I've been looking at it this morning uh, a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you, you, you brought it up at the beginning of the hour. And uh, I think that Merrick uh, Garland has been put into a real bad position over this because, I mean, it's oh, the yeah. FBI oh, yeah. that you leaked know, that oh, they have yeah. enough evidence to uh, pursue charges. Oh. But it's not the FBI that actually charges. It's the DOJ. And there's right. no way that they can present this evidence and bring it into court without it exposing his father and the rest of the family. Uh, this Correct. is a real snafu that they're in, it looks like. Unless they, you know, dance through it like they do everything else. Oh, I'll tell you what, this, 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 the two things I want to mention on the Hunter Biden thing, you know, these two charges that came out are charged, they're chargeable offenses is what they are. They came out of the grand jury, jury which is big time which is big time, it comes out of the, the grand jury. They still wield a lot of power. But with Biden, it came, of course, the two issues, they're, they're, non, they're non-perversion issues, non-drug issues. It's tax, right, tax evasion, and then whatever the other one was. Uh, he lied uh, about not uh, using gun, gun. drugs yeah. on, a, on a gun form. Imagine, imagine if Donald Trump Jr. had been caught on a laptop or a cop buying an illegal gun and leaving it in a dumpster. Come on, man, any of just like Al Capone, who was taken down on tax evasion. Yeah. To me, this is good enough. This is a good start. Uh, I don't think it can be swept under the rug. I don't think there's going to be a James Comey moment of not charging Hillary for the five treasonous acts she did, you know, under the Espionage Act. Uh, but I don't think this sweep under the rug. I think, like you say, what people don't realize is legal legal proceedings, and especially trials, it brings uh, uh, transparency. Just think Kyle Rittenhouse. I'm glad I saw the Rittenhouse trial, you know, because the facts don't lie, right? This guy got this guy got framed. Uh, so I think I think there's going to be uh, I think there's going to be a reckoning. Uh, my best estimate, and I don't care. Everyone can fact check me. My best estimate is that when Hunter Biden had that controversial deal going with Burisma, right, we hear it, but I just like to keep the numbers simple. 
is I'm guessing Hunter and his crew, Archer and a few other guys, made thirty million bucks, and about three three point two went to Joe Biden. Period. Okay, I'll just say it on the air. That's and it's, there's lots of stuff in public record with that. Read Tony Bobulinski's deposition someday, or at least interview someday, and you just fall off your chair. So that said, I think the two charges against Hunter Hunter are uh, a good start. I think it is absolutely an, an embarrassment that the thing's been covered up. And you know, Mike, you know, we all heard, we all listened, right, for six years, Trump colluding with Russia, right? Hillary would be president had Trump not colluded with Russia, right? That's called, that's the big lie. That's the big lie. Uh, we know that. And we now know, and I'll put it Greg op-ed way, Greg Meekin op-ed, totally my opinion here. Uh, here's my headline. It would be Democrats colluded with FBI and social media to fix or sway the 2020 election. Period. They colluded. It's called colluded. Uh, yeah, hundreds 100%. of thousands of dollars. You know, so here we go. Now, yeah, we, big, oh, yeah. I mean, it's all deniers like, on that, right? When you listen to Tony they, Bobulinski, you can see the, uh, that he is blown away at, at the response to all of this. Like, it, the man almost doesn't know what to say. He, uh, but I mean, uh, the other thing uh, that's happening is, is, I mean, if you look at some of the most vocal critics uh, between 2016 and 2020, uh, Michael oh, Avenatti, yeah. remember Michael Avenatti when he was going to be the next uh, president and he was on The View when he was on CNN? Oh, he was on. Yeah. Michael Avenatti's in jail oh, right now. Yeah. Now it looks like charges might be brought against Alec Baldwin. Uh, oh, he, oh, he, yeah. If, I, 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 we're all praying that, that the truth comes out, Mike, just the truth. Nothing manufactured, just what happened in all these situations, mm-hmm. all of them. That was a weird you know, one. Um, that was a weird one, I gotta say. Uh, you know, after all of everything that Baldwin was doing over the last few years, it's almost that oh, yeah. pride comes before a fall thing. You know, the froward man will be broken oh, beyond yeah. remedy. And here's this oh. guy that that you know, uh, just just a big flapping mouth, and all of a sudden he ends up shooting this woman on the set of this movie. Like, oh yeah, wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah. And there's so much. I mean, there's cover. Everything's cover-ups. Now, give me the old days of Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon looks like a choir boy compared to the crew these days. Give me an old-fashioned crook like Richard Nixon. Give me an old-fashioned incompetent president like Jimmy Carter. At least Jimmy Carter didn't commit treason by opening up the southern border. You know, come on. Um, You'd you'd rather have a doofus than a red-hand flat-out criminal? Is what I'm hearing? What was that? You cut out a little bit there for me, Mike. What did you just say? I said you'd rather have a doofus than a flat-out criminal. Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> you know, and he's, he's so funny. And if it weren't so tragic, it'd be funny. Can you imagine? I mean, they're, they're covering up every day. Forget the Nixon wiretap. They're covering for Joe Biden every day, Mike. It's not like it's a once a month gaff or something. He's going up. His handlers are freaking out. We know that. Uh, freaking out to let him, wheeling him up on stage to talk. And I'm saying to myself, I take a step back and say, wait, this is the president of the United States, everybody. There used to be requirements. You know, how come Trump submitted to the Montreal test, the Montreal test of, uh, you know, uh, competence and, uh, and, uh, uh, Biden doesn't. Why not? Doesn't he owe that to his to his critics now to take a, a cognitive test? Doesn't he owe that as a president? Give me the old days. Give me Nixon resigning. You know, come on, man. And I, I do pray, you know this, Mike, and we both pray that truth comes out here, justice comes out. Uh, and I do. I still, I'm, I, I'm bullish, I'm positive, I'm glasses half full. I think it's going to. You can only suppress the truth long enough and in this day and age with the internet and with how many obviously platforms are out there including this one we can't all be censored unlike 30 years ago the alphabet networks abc cbs nbc they controlled the narrative but now they don't and uh, there will always be the american Rock radios there'll always be the charlie kirks there'll always be honestly that you know even the fox news and stuff where you're not going to be able to shut us up anymore and when people see i'm telling you what I know, I know this. I've heard this and, and corroborated it. When Kev, when a new House majority, Kevin, the leader, Kevin McCarthy, you'll start seeing it after November eighth and really leading up to January twenty first, twenty twenty three. As Kevin McCarthy, they're lining up these these uh, uh, congressional committees, 
you know, kind of like the, the Adam Schiff and Nadler committees, except we're going to have Republicans in charge for a change. And the poopy is going to hit the fan, Mike. Uh, one of them is a Hunter Biden laptop investigation. That's just one of them. I mean, subpoena power, subpoena power. So there you go. Well, let's get the popcorn ready, Mikey, for uh, 2022. The other really strange thing. all of 2023. Thing. All of 23, man. The other really strange thing that's happening right now that I, 